Welcome to the Article 1776 podcast. I am your co-host, Matthew Kicklighter. This is my co-host. Scott Still 87. Fucking A, right. So we, I, this has just been brought up to my, we're d- divulging away from uh, the Constitution for this podcast. Okay, because we've actually figured, uh, like, we realized something and we heard, found out something today. Well, primarily Scottsdale found out something today about the documents and the kind of mentioned about the news last time. It's kind of delving more into the news this time, too. So right. go ahead, Scottsdale. So here's what happened. Uh, a couple of days ago, private docu- or classified documents were found in an office of President Biden's from back when he was a vice president. Now, granted that his attorneys immediately turned the documents over. Mm -hmm. That's cool. However, there was no uproar about it. There was no FBI raid. Mm -hmm. There was no... Uh, you know, warrants issued, um, and it's just like, oh, well, he took care of it in a timely manner, so it's okay if President Biden does it. However, do you want to share this real quick if you can look it up? And uh, I can't. It's right, actually. Give me one second. I already have it pulled up. Okay. So that people know what type of documents that we're talking about. Yeah, and this is on CNN. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like I'm going strictly off Fox. Like, I know Fox is a pro right wing, you know, political news as- association. I try to look at all of them: CNN, MSNBC, Fox, even the ones I don't like. So, like, you can see here that there are you know multiple different stories on this. Well, classified pr- classified documents are found in his office. No FBI raid. Nobody's freaking out. Yeah. Right. However, what happened, what, two months ago, a month ago, Mm -hmm. the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago, which Mm -hmm. is President Donald Trump's um, resort, Mm -hmm. his home resort, whatever, his resort home, I think is what I should have said. Um, And then, you know, everyone's condemning him. How dare he have classified documents? He's no longer a sitting U.S. president and he shouldn't have these and he needs to be put in jail and la, 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 la. No one said shit about Biden. Now, fast forward to today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today, more classified documents were found in a private office somewhere else. Of, yeah, obviously, of Biden. Of Biden's. And here's the fucked up part. Apparently, the house that they were found in Mm -hmm. was uh, in 2018 registered as being owned by a one and only Mr. Hunter Biden. With all the bullshit going on with Hunter Biden's crap, with his laptop and his smacking Chinese hookers around while snorting cocaine and shit. And showing his asshole off. Right? Um, you know, when I think of Hunter Biden, though, I think of that T-Rex off uh, the old Vime, the cocaine T-Rex. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> Short arms and all. That's how I imagine Hunter Biden. Um, but like, so you know, with all that shit, like, it stands to reason. Like, this whole family's fucking crazy. All of our, why are we electing people who have crazy family members? I'm sorry. Hang on. Before before you go before you go to this, I would never yeah. put any of my family members in any position of power uh-huh. if I was the president because I thought my family's fucking sacked. Yeah. So speaking about families, so I'm gonna go off on a fucking tangent. So oh, this, shit. so this, how are tarted. The whole, the, like people of the sensitive side can be. Well, you remember uh, a, a couple of decades ago the uh, helping ha- Haiti scandal that fucking the Clintons did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. So <sighs> I thought about this immediately as soon as I, I saw this. 
I'm, I'm gonna let you get done with your coughing spree, Dave. Yeah. No, you good. You're co- you're coughing up hard. Did he, did she go down that deep? No. <laughs> I uh, my uh, my draws are a little longer today. I fell down a flight of stairs this morning. Good job. No, like I thought my arm was broken. Like, do you try like to catch yourself? Arm. So, yes. So I, on the top, on the second story landing, I take the first step down. My foot slips instantly. <coughs> I grab both handrails. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. But like my center of gravity is already lower than my elbows are. Yeah. So I'm just kind of like sliding on the bottoms of my feet while sliding down the banister. Yeah. On both sides. And um, we have this weird, so like our banister's against the wall mm-hmm. and then it breaks. And then there's a completely different banister, like an inch and a half to the right of that. Yeah. Where it goes down the rest of the stairwell. Well, my hand slipped off that and I tumbled and landed on this part of my arm against the stairs, which, you know, I've already got a fucked up collarbone and shoulder up here. So all that got jacked up this way up into my ear mm-hmm. and I banged up my knee a little bit. Man, it sounds like either A, your equilibrium's a little off or B, you're just trying to macho man Randy Savage's elbow drop that bit. Man, it was 7 a.m. It was 7 a.m. and I was still tired. <laughs> it's going like, ooh, yeah, and then just completely fucking, <laughs> fucking missed yeah. on the. I was like, what's the fastest way to get down these stairs? <laughs> <laughs> I took the express lane this morning. No, but, I went, like, in my defense, though, in my defense, I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night, about 2, 2.30. Yeah. Um, I got in with uh, a GTA server a 5m server last night so i was setting things up for that i'm not going to give any of it away so don't say anything so all right so going back going back into this so this reminded me so much of the height of the the clinton abomination what they did what they try to they try to help fucking haiti and yet they they fucked up so bad that quite a bit of people over in haiti over there now despise the Clintons because of how badly they fucked up. You mean her? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, right. ah, fuck it. I hate this shit. <laughs> so a good, a good friend of mine that was from Haiti that joined the Marine Corps, uh, asked him like, what was your, what was your motivation to kind of want to change your thing or change your life for you or what's going on? <laughs> so he said to him, remember the, the, the Haitian, uh, the, when the Clintons came over to Haiti, they yeah. fucked everything up so bad to where he really wanted to move to the United States and for him and his family and start up a whole a whole life for him, which is a great for him. But if you're one of the sole reasons why people want to get out of a certain position, you should look at yourself. Like you're fucking up badly as a politician or something like that. Like, geez. And so that's what that reminds me of. They want to act so high and mighty to where politicians feel like they're above the law. Like, yeah, like with, with fucking Biden's case. I mean, like when it comes down to it, like you are a public figurehead, you are a public servant. You are not the fucking king of america yeah okay you don't get to just do what you want you still have to follow rules do you know the president when the president so like let's say you're president okay yeah when you're no longer a sitting u.s president you're not allowed to drive a vehicle actually when you're president you're not allowed to drive a vehicle anyway yeah I, I could never that. be pre- I could never be president. I love driving. Like I love sports cars. I love going fast. Hell, my car is not a sports car. I have an SUV, but I drive it like a sports car. Anyway, that's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you still have to follow rules. You still have to follow the law. New I can't New Jersey State Police knocking at your door like fuck. Shut, up, fool. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I don't I no, I don't speed. I have children, so I, I maintain the speed limit in my car. <laughs> <clears throat> but I was—I just fucked around. But 
at the same time, like, even if you're the president, you still follow us. I can't be the president, okay, mm -hmm. have dinner with a bunch of Bolivian Coke dealers and have, like, a room with just, like, a mountain of brick cocaine and I'm Scrooge McDuckying in it, like, swimming through cocaine and shit. Like, I obviously, that's illegal. I'm the president. I can't do that, right? Yeah. So yeah. why is it okay for even just... <laughs> Them to get away with half the shit they do. Did you know that Hunter Biden uh, actually is on the board of like one or two different energy companies, one in Ukraine, one in China? Yep, I knew that, and that's what I was going to figure out. This whole entire did thing. Know, did you know that Nancy Pelosi and her husband invested millions of dollars into NVIDIA right before the 30 series dropped because they had that insider trading? Did you know that? Yep. Okay, so why is it okay for them to do it? But you and me can go to prison for the rest of our lives if we try to do that shit. Yeah, like it's it's fucking nuts. So here's the thing: I'm starting to really think that the whole entire, like, like you said, the whole entire thing with uh, the fucking Pelosi's having that dude over, and then this rhyming around the time that Biden, <laughs> yeah. So it. it Call me a conspiracy theorist, but it's all a mind fuck, bro. Doesn't it? Doesn't it seem like it's a ruse or some odd it, connection it's, there? It's mind fucking. Is what yeah. it is. It's it, it's mind fuckery to the max. But at the same time, think about it this way: <clears throat> if you're let, <laughs> let's go hypothetically here for a second, you're a small country, okay? Yeah. You are the 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 grand pooba mm -hmm. of your small country, okay? And you get involved into a scandal that could seriously diminish your role of power. What are you going to do? You're going to set up another scandal on a different on a different level, mm -hmm. still have the same resonation, but. It's going to take a little bit of interest off you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's it's the Matrix. The Matrix is trying to fight us. So I will say this, and this is just... <laughs> I don't believe in the fucking Matrix. Because uh, if this was the Matrix, my life would be a lot better. I mean, sure. I, I mean, Keanu Reeves is one beautiful, badass dude. But, I mean, like, I wouldn't mind having... Yeah, he's a fucking he, he's a I'm okay. I, about you. No, but no. Here, here's here's the thing. If you met if you met Keanu Reeves in real life uh, and to see him as a person, he is a sweetheart of an individual. Uh, I don't. I haven't heard anything wrong, but uh, Matrix wise, uh, so it's just kind of fucking. Yeah, okay, so this is what I this is what I feel. No, so everyone, including external, like foreign countries, are trying to fuck with this on a, a political end, make it more divisive, everything, TikTok, everything else like that. They're doing that because here's the thing. They can't fuck with us and more. We are like the pr practically the world champs and when it comes to going into war. Like literally. They're, do you know statistically that we've only been without war for 12 years? 16, it, I think, actually. 16 years yeah i think it was 16 as a united states as a whole for yeah the whole entire time that we've been a country 16 years like yeah. it's like it's 16 years without like some kind of uh conflict yeah 16 years it, 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 so they're using everything that they can <laughs> They're hunting. They're they're attaching themselves to, and I don't know why the fuck they would do this. They're attaching themselves to the Bidens to cause further more divisiveness. Yeah, That's I just, just <clears throat> am I speaking crazy here or no? Not really, because I mean, if you think about it, it's just how fucking. I don't know. Government is retarded. Well, at least I, the, I mean, look. 
the government which our forefathers tried to establish for us back in the day. Yeah. Um, I get it. But now it's just getting ridiculous with... I don't know. I, it, it's it's to the point where I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I love my country. I love the people in my country. And I love the the things in my country that I can see. Like, I can go up north a couple hours and, like, be in the mountains. Or I can go to the east a little bit and be in, you know, downtown New York. Yeah. Um, I'm not proud of what our government has become. And it's not to say that I don't love my constitution, I don't love my rights, I don't love the people in the in this country. I feel like our politicians' view of government has become highly skewed. Mm-hmm. Probably the wrong word. Highly skewed, I guess I should say. Yeah. And um, it's it's getting dis- it's almost disgusting. Yeah. And so it's like, uh, have you heard of? This dude by the name of Lieutenant Colonel Lieutenant Colonel Schuler, United States Marine Corps. He was the one who wasn't he the one who criticized Upper Command after the whole Afghanistan debacle. Yeah, yeah, I yeah I know who he is. So it, it's pretty crazy to where, and we should all hold each other accountable, especially in the military too. But we should hold each other accountable and say, this is where you're fucking up. You shouldn't be in yes, men. If you spot something fucked up that the president is doing, no matter <coughs> what higher position that you are, uh, yeah. are there in, if you're, if you spot something that they're doing fucked up and you say, Hey, this isn't a good idea. This is get a lot of us killed or cause divisiveness within the whole entire country. Yeah. Like he is the first, I think he, I believe he is the first dude to within uh, a promising position. He was due to be, I think, uh, a seat in Congress. He was yeah. promised a seat in Congress because of his position, and he gave that up, knowing the fact that he was calling his higher ups on their bullshit. He gave up his pension too. Yeah, I don't know about the first part, but I know who he gave. I know he gave up his pension. Yeah, I, like his seat was on the line and everything. <clears throat> yeah, it's. I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I kind of at a loss for words with the way our government is going. But uh, you know, it just is what it is. Yeah. So it's. It... Yo, did you hear about the FAA strike yesterday? Was it yesterday or the day before? No, I haven't heard yeah, that. Yeah, the FAA fucking, they, they grounded all flights for a couple hours. Like, it's the first time since 9-11 no plane has been in the sky. What was it, like a weather type of thing or what? It was a strike. Like, it was an FAA strike. I'm not sure what the... <clears throat> I guess if we're talking about it, it stands the reason we should probably look it up. Yeah. You heard it here, folks, first, I think. No. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. This whole entire bullshit with the, both sides in the media is the reason why I, I don't I do independent research. I don't I don't watch the news. Uh da 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 Okay, Washington, Chicago, January 11th, Rogers reports that the U.S. aviation sector was struggling to return to normal on Wednesday after a nationwide ground stop imposed by the Federal Aviation Administration over a computer issue that forced a 90-minute halt to all U.S. departing flights. Oh. So it's a computer issue. Yeah. Fucking the fucking shit on my phone was trying to make me think it was an actual strike and shit. 
More than 10,000 flights have been delayed so far, with over 1,300 canceled, according to FlightAware, in the first national grounding of flights in about two decades. Many industry officials compared the grounding to what occurred after the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. See, who, who was who was the one that was trying to push it towards a strike? I don't know. I I think I can't remember who it was, but it, like, so when I pull up Google on my phone, if I don't already have like a page open from the day before or whatever or the night before, yeah. it gives me like a list of different like news stories and shit. And uh, I guess that's what it was trying to do. It was like FAA strike. It was also seven o'clock in the morning, so I didn't really read it. But yeah, that's fucking crazy. So I was wrong. It wasn't a strike. It was just an outage. It was a grounding because of an outage. So you know, fuck me. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Can now you want to bring that? Bring that. <laughs> <hole. laughs> fuck your brown eye, bro. Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so no, but it's. Like it is, this shit's crazy to me with the whole entire how the government is, is how this world's going fucking crazy. Yeah, and so it's like they're We're trying just along to, for the ride. Yeah, uh, 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 fucking cancel culture has gotten so much into the heads of everyone. I, I said, I said, we mentioned cancel culture last podcast, but it's crazy to where how overly sensitive people are. To where that they'll create the news specifically for their their feelings. Yeah, I mean, I've been baited several times where it's like, hey, look, this news story might be interesting. And it's like, Kanye West wears a hat that nobody likes. I'm like, well, uh, that's, that was dumb. Yeah, it's... <laughs> So why not pick up on the fucking news that actually matters? Like the documentation, as you mentioned. Or is that shit not towards their politics or not towards their fucking, uh, their feelings? Uh, I don't know. I'm just confused from now on. I don't even care anymore. I just, I'm just confused. You look confused. I am. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm ready yeah. to be unplugged now. If the <laughs> Matrix is real, like, or just can I reset? No, I don't want to reset. <laughs> Do I get an extra life? <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking. Like, you're you're you're, Mar- you're Mario with like right. <laughs> you're like fucking take it. you're glowing and I'm like oh I'm glowing in the dark no I'm pretty sure that's radiation <laughs> I'm chemotherapy man <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough radiation and chemotherapy in my lifetime that I can say that <laughs> you, you, hear, uh, <laughs> you, you hear that YouTube you can't cancel us today yeah, see, no, like, I can say that, though. I had cancer, so I, yeah, you know, I can say I'm radiation, man. <laughs> Captain Chemotherapy! <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, my spleen. <laughs> <laughs> you're like that. You're like, uh... I'm not making fun of chemotherapy patients. Like, I know it can be seen that way, but I was a chemotherapy patient when I was very young. Uh, radiation and shit like that. Like I shouldn't even be here, but you know, you're like here you're we like, are. <laughs> you, you're like that superhero. You just reminded me of the superhero from Jeff Dunham. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I had got two D's on her chest. <laughs> ta, 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 right? <laughs> no, he was he was one of my favorites. Yeah, I. Liked I him. I, I I like cupcakes and porn. Well, not at the same time. I need a free hand. <laughs> everyone, every love, everyone loved. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Ahmed. Ahmed the dead terrorist. Everyone, every- Evie loves Ahmed. That's her favorite. Ahmed and um. Oh, the old guy. 
Now I know who you're talking about. I, I just had his name in my head. Walter. Walter. <laughs> Walter. <coughs> Walter White. <laughs> no. So no, my probably I love I loved Walter. One of my favorites is fucking uh Bubba J. <laughs> They're making a left turn. <laughs> <laughs> They're making Walter. another left turn. <laughs> What's your favorite beer? An open one? No, my favorite one was in the first one where he where he talks about his wife. He's like, "How did you meet her? She was up next to the Ferris wheel, making it tilt." <laughs> I'm surprised how he hasn't gotten canceled yet because he's that goddamn got dang funny. Well, you know, so here's the thing I noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, Trevor Noah was a British mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. And he was talking about the colonization of India. Yeah. And, you know, he's doing his regular voice, which is British. So there's that accent to it. But then he also did like the stereotypical, you know, Indian voice. People were dying over it. He's not Indian. <laughs> and the, the skit was like, I claim this country in the name of God and the Queen. And he's and the other guy was like, I'm not gonna do the I'm not gonna do the accent, even though I really want to because it's funny. Yeah. It's not mean. I find it funny in this aspect because of the way he said it, because it was spot on. See, see but if he I, was see. like but he goes, Which God? He's like, what do you mean? God, God. There are many gods, sir. And he was like, the one and only God, the true king. He goes, what is your God's name? And he's like, God. He goes, you don't know your God's name? God's name is God. He goes, it sounds like you don't know your God's name. <laughs> <laughs> See, everyone, everyone, if I went like, holo, sherlo, hol, 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 and then, then everyone would lose their fucking shit. But now... People are probably going to lose their shit because you did that. <laughs> but, like, you yeah, gotta understand, like, That's it's not... the bad guys, like, the actual bad guys. That there are oh, some... you're talking about the bad guys. Yeah, the bad guys. You're talking about the, um... I have a feeling now I'm, okay, I'm kind of uns- uncomfortable the, now, then... The uh, unsavory goat herders. Yeah, so, okay, thank you for clearing that up for me. The, the unsavory kind. There's a difference between a nice goat herder and one that with an AK-47. I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> you see the one that tried to. Sh- he- so it's interesting enough. I think Brandon Herrera covered this up in one of his uh, uh, gun videos. Did you hear that some of uh, back in uh, Vietnam they built the custom they they customly made ammo to. Uh, make the weapon fail in the AK. Yeah. I think it was. I know somebody who I work with mm-hmm. who apparently knows Mr. Babera and Donut and them. But any- and used to work for Mr. Babera. Uh huh. But- and like was. Go ahead. But no, they showed the video of uh, somehow the ammo that was made in the Vietnam era that was produced by the U S army was Mm -hmm. some, it was produced for it in Vietnam, but then somehow the ammo got, uh, surfaced over into the middle East. And so with the, the video clip being shown of the dude, uh, shooting the AK 47 and then all of a sudden uh, blowing it up in his hands, that, that, was a good cause for it because the ammo that he had inside was made by the U.S. Army to intentionally make that weapon explode. Like a spicy slap round. Yeah. Looking at, looking at you, Kentucky. No, I'm glad he's alive, though, because that's yeah. fucking scary as shit, dude. Like having a 50 cal blow up in your face like that and yeah. fucking just... yeah. Scott, uh, Scott, if you ever watching, uh, I'm glad you're. This is a long you you came a long way since that, brother. Yeah, like that that shit was gnarly. Like I watched the video and shit, and uh, 
what we'll do is we'll, uh, for those of you who haven't watched uh, or know anything about it, I'll uh, tag the video somewhere in the description or in the video here. So then that way that you could see exactly what we mean. Yeah. Good, good for him not like getting any of the, uh, the gory shit in the video. Yeah. Like, so that, that was pretty cool. Okay, yeah, was, I, no, the, the, no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me make that clear. The cinematography in which he captured was cool. It sucked what happened to him because he could have, he could have really died and that would well, have been shit. I think, well, if you remember correctly, his dad was the cameraman. So yeah. with that, I think his dad put down the camera and then, uh, helped, helped out Scott. Well, yeah, I mean. So if his I, dad wasn't if his dad wasn't there, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have walked out of there. Yeah, so Scott, yo. But that that shit was crazy. So Big ups. Yeah. What are you do what are you doing? Get the drink. Oh. Am like, I not allowed to slake my thirst, good sir? No, it sounded it looked I was kind of like put your hands up above the, the seat there for a second. Yeah, like <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know if you were doing a quickie. No. I'm not that one chick from Twitch. Oh, that 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 lady that got fucking plowed. That, that shit was weird. Twice. Yeah. She's President Biden of Twitch. <laughs> Ooh, fuck. I feel like cancel coming on. Pouring it. Fucking, I'm tired. I'm tired of being, I, you know, I'm, here's where I feel is that I am so tired of just feeling worried about something going to happen. Just fucking do it. Look, we started this company for the whole fact that we wanted to actually represent our, you know, represent and use our freedom of speech. We have lost too many men and women in the name of freedom of speech and our constitution, that if we didn't use it to its fullest extent, yeah. I would literally be pissing on the graves of thousands. Yeah. It's, it's so that's my it, thought. If you take a look, there is more, there is more politicians that are trying to place, restric place restrictions upon our, upon our freedoms. No, I don't care if you're you're gay. I said this before. I, I don't care if you're gay in an interracial relationship trying to protect your weed plants with an AR-15. You do that right? Yeah, Everybody yeah, does. yeah. That fucking, yeah, that fucking right. Do you? I don't care. I I respect you as an individual, and the same amount as you would help you respect me. And you're and, one of my, my mom's best too. friends is gay, and like that doesn't bother me with the shit. Yeah. Like, do you, you, like, uh, if my daughter, okay, if I had a daughter that is a uh, lesbian and uh, that gives me furthermore chance to say, oh, that, that girl is pretty hot, you know, the fucking, and, like, they don't give a Talk shit. Talk to your daughter about that shit. That's weird. Oh, <laughs> no. How is that weird? That's facts. I don't like, know. I'm okay. old school, I guess. So, so would you say that, okay, if your daughter, if, uh, if Gabby were to say, oh, uh. Keanu Reeves is uh, a beautiful looking man. What would you say? What would you say? Well, at least she's got good taste. Yeah. See, exactly. 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 Yeah. Okay. I see. You. I see. I see where you're going. Yeah. And uh, you can take that shit that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no so shit doesn't. No, either way, it doesn't bother me. Um, I haven't thought about it much, and I think that's kind of where I'm okay with it because I'm yeah. not thinking about it yet because she's still only seven. Yeah. That's so, what I said when she grows up, like, later on. I've got time to prepare myself for that. Yeah. Because it's funny because I wasn't supposed to be able to have kids. So, like, when my ex was like, I'm pregnant, and I'm like, uh, okay, cool. I had nine months to kind of, like, get my shit together because I went, yeah. like, through my entire life not, not caring. Like, I was like, all right, cool. I'd say it's just me. It's just me out here. I don't have to worry about that. And and the, I saw the world was going to kind of the hell in the handbasket anyway. So um, and she really does look like you. 
She really does, and she's got my temper, so it's going to be bad for I her. I don't want to go to bed. That's exactly what she... And she never didn't... She, she hadn't done that up until, like, the last couple, like, weeks or so. Yeah. She never had a problem. She never, like... I, when I wake her up to go to school, she's up and pow, ready. She's, she's ready to go. Now it's, I don't want to go to school. I don't want to get up. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to take a bath. I like, what, what the fuck are you getting this? I don't want to shit. You're going to do it. Oh, it, it. We get a question, too. Is It could be something at her school. Uh, no, she goes to a really good school. Well, I mean, like, the, the, even with a good school, there are certain people there that are... Like kids there? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But, like, you know, I've told her, like, I don't care what other kids do. I'm not their parents. I can ground you. But, I mean, I like... Can't... Well, I, but I mean, like, in terms of uh, if, if, the, if the teachers notice any type of bullying or anything else like that. I don't know. She's been kind of... She was... Cr okay, so... I was told that she got on. She had to get help on help on the bus the other day, leaving school because she was crying. We lost a cat. Oh, okay. He's no, he's no longer with us. Is it the one that I know? Uh, Logan, the one who was super persistent that you pet him all the time. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. He um he started getting lethargic. Uh huh. And um. He was uh, something. Something about him was shutting down. We took him. They took him to the vet, uh -huh. and uh, he was good for a couple of days. And you know, played a little bit, ate normally. Um, her uncle has him and Sugar Bear, uh, the white cat, the all white mm -hmm. cat, the old yeah. ones. Basically, her uncle is in his retirement years, and so are these two cats. Uh -huh. These are their this, this these are this is their last stop pretty much. So Sugar Bear's doing okay. Logan just got lethargic and uh he was starving to death, basically. And instead of letting him just starve to death, which would have been more painful for him, uh -huh. he had some kind of fit, kidney failure, I think. It was like stage four kidney failure. Um which is detrimental to a cat. And he would have starved to death. That wouldn't have killed him, but he would have starved to death. And that would have, and it would have been painful. So he was 17 years old. The cat? Yeah. yeah well, what long, else? Yeah, he was, he was an old fucking cat. Like, so, you know, and he was, he had been there for like the last six months. So he was very comfortable, very quiet. You know, Mike doesn't have a girlfriend, no kids or anything like that, you know. Yeah, he's just a an old guy in a little town, you know. And yeah. he's, he's an awesome, he's an awesome dude, awesome fucking dude. And uh, <clears throat> so they had uh, they had him put to sleep. So she was upset about that, apparently. So she's been kind of she's been a little moody lately. So I'm gonna email the teacher and try to figure out if there's any kind of like anything going on that I should know about. I have an idea. Not to get anything quite yet, but what if you took your uh, pet window shopping, like kind of cover up with the pets a little bit? Dude, I have six cats and a dog. Do you remember how many cats I used to have? Yeah. Okay, I have six now. No more animals. Well, I mean, like not to get anything, but just no, because kind of... I think that, that I think that'd be torturing her. Oh, okay. Look at it's this puppy, but we can't get it, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Or how about... Uh, However, when we go to PetSmart to get Bailey's food, yeah, we look at the cats and stuff, you know? Yeah, so it's on, something like that that could kind of alleviate her heart a little bit. Yeah. No, she's, I think there's something different going on, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. Did I, did I, hit, did I hit an idea with the... The whole entire school thing. Well, I mean, that's the only time she's not here. Yeah. Well, she. So. Well, well, if you take a look at it, I think that it it's a combination that she wants to be here for the cats, because the simple fact yeah. is that what happened to the cat at home, uh, cat 
and her feeling like going away, she could miss one of the cats passing away or something like that. That's what I'm beginning to think. <laughs> she knows what death is. Okay? Yeah. Um, her preschool teacher shortly after or shortly before we moved, we lost her preschool teacher. Um, and she was an awesome lady. Yeah. And she kept asking me if we could go see her. Can we go see her? Can we go see her? And uh, she had already had the concept of what death was. Um, mm -hmm. Her her mom's family had lost a dog. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> she kind of knew what that was. She didn't handle it very well. Um, I kind of slipped up the other day. And I picked up the bag that has Logan's ashes in it. And I was like, we got to move Logan shit. And she goes, Logan. So and then she was upset about that. So she doesn't take it very well. Yeah. Kind of like she you said in a little so bit. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, and like a young form of you. Yeah. And she's like, um, yeah, but you know what's funny is that uh, the way I've had it presented to me is that Think about you when you were about seven or six years old about yeah. how you were handled things or how you were. You got to dial it down to when you got to dial it down to when, and this is for any parents out there, you got to dial it down to when you got to think when you were six or seven years old, how were you at that age? Oh. And then that way you can read and relate to a little kid's mind like that. Oh yeah, my arm's still kind of swollen. Right here. I, I'm telling See you, it? you macho macho man See Randy it? Savage that shit. Right there. You macho man Randy Savage that shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so much I took a little bit of skin off too. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, you know, partner, partner, you know the company that would put an elbow drop into anyone that would try to take away our freedoms. Article 1776. Fuck yeah. Article 1776. Go, guys, go to article 1776.com and you, know, you can use the discount codes in the link description below. We want to say thank you all so much for joining us on this offbeat little adventure here that we mentioned about the fucking... <laughs> The documents for fucking Biden and how crazy this shit is. But we want to say thank you all so much for everything. Scottsdale, give me your socials. Scottsdale 87 all across the board. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, uh, OnlyCans, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Instagram. Instagram. All right. So you can find the link to my socials down in the description below. And I want to say thank you all so, so much. Freedom the fuck on. We love y'all. Peace. Peace.